Okay, so right here in the scripts folder, let's create a script by the name of menus. And if we click on this menus canvas, let's attach the script. And now let's open this up. Right here, we will remove these two functions for now. Add a header by the name of all menus. And then we will say public game object. Now we need a reference to our pause menu UI. Okay, and we also need a reference to our end game menu UI. And after this, we need a reference to our objective menu UI. And then we need a bool which will check if the game is stopped or not. So let's name this as game is stopped and by default set this to false. Right here we will create our first function which will be for showing the objectives menu. So we will name this as show objectives. And in here, we will simply activate the objectives menu. So we'll say objective menu set active. Let's set this to true. And when the objectives menu appear, we want the game to be stopped. So we will set the time dot time scale. This will be set to 0f. And then we will set the game is stopped to true. Okay, because the game is stopped. After that, we need a function to remove this objectives menu, okay, to deactivate it. So we will simply say public void remove objectives. And in here, let's copy and paste that. We will now set this to false. We will set the time scale back to normal. Okay, or actually you can see we will make the game resumes again and then this game is stop will be set to false. And also when the game start we want the cursor to be locked again. So we will say cursor dot lock state equals to cursor lock move dot locked. Okay. After this let's create a function for resuming the game, actually pausing the game, so we will say void pause and in here when the game is paused we want to show the pause menu so we will say pause menu set active let's set it to true and after this the time dot time scale will be equals to 0f and then we will set the game stop to true Okay, so this is our pause function. Now uh, leave the private functions down below and the public function above. So now let's create a function for resuming the game. So we'll say public void resume. And in the resume, we will simply copy that, paste it right here. When the game resumes, we want the pause menu to disappear. We want the time back to normal and set the game is pause to false because now the game resumes and also we want to lock the cursor. So we will copy and paste that down below. After this, let's create a function for restarting the game. So we will say public void restart. Okay. And since we will be dealing with the scene management, so at the top, make sure that you call that. And then in the restart, we will simply restart the game. But for now, let's just leave this as empty. And let's create a function for loading the main menu. Okay, the game main menu. So we don't have the menu now, right here. We will leave a comment for now to load menu. Okay. And then let's create a function for quitting the game so we will name this as quit game okay and in the quit game we will say debug dot log 
you will first uh, show a message in the console that quitting game because in unity we can't quit the game when we built our game and then we played on the pc then only then we can quit the game but when we are creating our game and we are in unity then we can't quit the game so actually we will simply show this that quitting game and for quitting the game it is a simple just type application dot quick quit and that's it now we have all of the functions ready now at the top let's create the update function and in the update we will say that if we press the escape button then we press the escape button we want to pause the game so for that first we will check if the game is paused or not so if the game is stopped if the game is stopped is set to true and as you know when this set to true it means that now we need to show the pause menu so in here actually sorry guys as you know that the game is stopped by default is set to false okay so it means that if the game is paused and as you can see this is false so if that is false then we want to just simply resume the game okay and when we resume the game we want the cursor to be locked and else if the game is stopped okay if the game is paused then we want to show the pause menu and we want the cursor to be unlocked so for that just copy that upper line and just change this to none okay after this uh, this main if condition let's add a else condition and in the else we will say that if we press the m button and on the m button we will show the objectives so first of all we will check that if game is paused is set to false then we will show the remove objective function okay we don't want to show the objective menu then and we simply want the cursor to be locked and else if the user wants to see the objective menu and this game is paused is set to true then then we want to call the show objective function and we want the cursor to be unlocked and that is it our menu script is now ready we will work on these two functions in the upcoming video so let's just leave that for now and simply get back to unity right here now we need to assign our menus so here is the pause menu here is the end game menu and here is the objective menu okay and once we assign that get back to unity sorry uh, visual studio code and right here when the player dies then we want to show the end game menu so let's add a reference in the player script cameras let's add a reference to our end game menu so we will say public game object end game menu ui and when the player dies then you want to activate that so right here in the player die function as you know when the player die we unlock the cursor and before unlocking the cursor we want to show the end game menu so we will say end game menu dot set active true then we will unlock the cursor and destroy the player game object after one second so now we are all set up save it get back to unity and on the player let's assign the end game menu now there okay now if we play the game you will notice that when we press the escape button as you can see it shows the pause menu and if you notice it shows this black thing behind the button as you can see okay so now we have these buttons let's click on resume okay the button doesn't work because we didn't add the functions to our buttons so for adding that let's click on our resume button right here on the on click let's add a condition and actually first of all let me delete that okay and select all of our buttons 
okay when you select all of the six buttons click on that and drag and drop the canvas there now only select the menu button quit button and right here menu button and quit button actually select the menu button and menu button and then in the menus let's select this load menu and then select both of the quit button and right here select the quit game and then on the resume we want to call the resume function and then on the restart we want to call the restart function okay now if we play it now the buttons will work okay so here is our poll menu if we click on quit you will notice that it shows quitting game okay but as you can see it means that now the game is quit so that's why it is showing that let's play it again now our quit button is working let's click on resume as you can see the game resumes and now let's get closer to the zombie so that the zombie kill us and you will notice that when the player die the end game menu will appear let me pause the game and let the zombie hit okay both of the zombies is hitting me now and when we are dead as you can see it shows this menu now we can restart we can go to the main menu and we can quit the game but we don't we have the restart function but we don't have added any code to the restart in the menu so in the next video we will work on our main menu okay so catch you guys in the next one